Thank you for listening to Read DBS. Read BBS, BBS. We're all familiar with the biblical verse featuring the battle between David and Goliath. This one could potentially be even more epic. I'm talking David versus David. The artist formerly known as El Bandera Roja, the Mike Tyson anointed Mexican monster David Benavidez versus David Morrell. Cuban amateur stud. Now, there's shit talk, and then there's this. Which I'm getting to now to find this damn quote. David Benavidez is a big bitch, said Morrell. His dad is a big fraud, always talking like he's some tough guy, but he's just a small man with little man complex. His brother wants to be a gangster, who talks a lot of shit, but got knocked out by Crawford and did a horrible job in the movie Creed. <laughs> the Benavidez's are a bunch of cowards. This is the guy you call the Mexican monster? He's a fraud. This is the guy everyone is building up? I see a fat, insecure boy. That's what I see. Benavidez couldn't walk down any street in Cuba without getting his shoes taken. Funny how he calls Canelo a duck. Who's the duck now? <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty strong words there. Now, of course, uh, Team Benavidez responded. Jose Benavidez Sr. on uh, on fight hype, fight hype, and without going word for word on what he said, he basically started with telling Morel to use translators if you're going to speak English. He then says that he spoke to Ronnie Shields directly. And Ronnie Shields told him, him being Benavidez Sr., that Morrell is not ready yet. He said, you'll be dangerous in a year or two, or he'll be dangerous in a year or two, so why not kick his ass now? Go talk to your team. Then he said, uh, the managers make that decision, not him. Told uh, Morrell to shut the fuck up. Go to your team. The contract is signed already. Benavidez Sr. said Morel's team is holding him back. He said they need to fight in October and November, though, whoever, for uh, David Benavidez. October and November, they need to fight. And Bevo better be here moving up to 75. Why not? Why not? He ended his statement with fight hype by saying the Canelo fight is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. He uh, repeated it, reiterated it. It's not going to happen. I'm glad Benavidez Sr. said what he said. And perhaps there will be a follow-up response from uh, Morrell, Ronnie Shields, or someone else from his team by the time I drop this video. But this whole ducking shit. Oh, well, yeah, Canelo was ducking Benavidez. Now Benavidez is ducking Morrell. That's complete and utter bullshit. And allow me to explain. David Morrell, again, like I said, Cuban amateur stud. A reported amateur record of 130 wins and two losses. Uh, is there an Olympic gold medal there? Is there an Olympic medal of any sort? How about an Olympic appearance? Okay, let's, let's, let's put that over there. Let's put that to the side. He is an, he's an impressive 9-0 AKOs. But tell me, and, and be real with me now, which of those nine wins convinced you convinced you David Morrell is indeed the guy a guy worthy of being ducked which of his non-fights was it and, and please leave a leave a comment like I'm dead serious here because I got you to know what Morrell fight do you think David Benavidez watched that spooked him into ducking Morrell as you claim which fight which Morrell fight was it that Benavidez saw was like oh yeah fuck that I can't come near this guy which one I'll wait Okay, was it was it Atlantis Fox? Uh, was it the dude from Kazakhstan that he hospitalized? Who? Tell me. Was it Yamaguchi Foul Cow? How now, Foul Cow? David Morrell can fight. He's talented. 
But David Morrell is not, I repeat, is not being ducked. It's called prize fighting, people. It's called prize fighting. And as I sit here, as we sit here, as I podcast, as we pontificate, there's no prize associated with David Morrell. Hell, even the sliver of a belt he has, that's a, hey, Canelo has all the real belts, so we're going to give you this belt, belt. That's the belt David Morrell has right now. It's prize fighting. David Morrell doesn't bring any prize to the fight. So it's not analogous in any way with the uh, Canelo David Benavidez situation where Benavidez misses weight. Canelo flexes his uh his power as boxing's A side as the face of boxing and also being Mexican and the WBC being a Mexican sanctioning body. He flexed that and petitioned to have himself fight for the vacant WBC title, which they obviously allowed because the sanctioning fee for a Canelo Alvarez fight shits on a sanctioning fee for any other fighter's fight. So, of course, they're going to grant that wish. But from there, then Benavidez was the WBC mandatory and the interim champion. But nonetheless, Canelo has not had a mandatory WBC defense in two years and four months. 28 months it's been since Canelo has had a WBC mandatory. Why? Because David Benavidez is his mandatory. What David Benavidez lacks in terms of amateur pedigree, he made up for with on-the-job training. Sparring dudes like Triple G, Kelly Pavlik, Peter Quillen, Dimitri Bebo, in his teens, no less. He was sparring these dudes as a teenager. But since uh, Canelo's WBC shenanigans, even with that, Benavidez, he's built his name. Benavidez is headlined to pay-per-view, and Canelo still doesn't want that smoke. That's the difference. One guy, Benavidez and Morel, uh, one dude brings ass to the table. The other dude is in the process of accumulating ass to bring to the table. That's the difference here, people. That's the difference here. Now, the good news is, they're both big super middleweights, both tall, rangy dudes, and both young. Benavidez is only like 13 months older. Uh, Benavidez and Morel, they're on a collision course. They will fight eventually. It may be at 75, but as long as both men keep handling their business, they will fight. And if in two and a half years to three years from now, if Benavidez still ain't fought him, then I'll co-sign on you saying that he ducked him. But I don't see that happening. Read BBS, BBS, Black Broke Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies, Televisión, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.